here is how to make your own spacecraft. Um, we started last week with an overview of uh, the various chapters and today we're going to look at where is it you would like to go in space uh, for the craft you are or we are thinking about designing. Uh, so the layout continues to be an introduction and we are now going to the basic configurations which is where to and what do we require in terms of delta V. Now I should probably add that delta V is the measure which is used in uh, space industry really to calculate from that delta V how much fuel, rocket fuel you need on board. And it's because we are in a system outside Earth's atmosphere uh, and outside uh, our normal environment where basically there is uh, no friction. And it means that whatever you have of speed, uh, you continue to have uh, unless something uh, you interact with another body. That's the key question. Now, for where you want to go, uh, well, let's start with space. Um, if you just want to go to space, let's go across and look at this diagram which I found on uh, the net and where you, uh, which I will put the reference into the blog as well. Basically, if you come from Earth and move up to low Earth orbit, it requires between 9 and 10 kilometers a second as your uh, speed change. From there, you can then go upwards towards uh, geotransfer orbit and to the C3 point, a mass transfer point, until various other transfers and onto Mars, which is at the right hand corner of this diagram. In the opposite side, you can go directly towards the Sun, and that requires a significant uh, amount of delta V. Um, it's not so interesting for us in, in this case. Or you can go to the lower left hand corner to the Moon. Um, uh, again, with all the numbers being approximately the delta V's required. So if you actually want to go to the moon, then there is two considerations you need to make. First of all, the moon has no atmosphere. It means that when you arrive, you cannot break in any other way than by uh, using your rocket uh, to, in principle, get rid of all the speed you already got. So that means you need to bring fuel not only for getting there, but also for breaking when you get there, at least if you want to get down in, in one piece. If you go to Mars, uh, on the other hand, since Mars has an atmosphere, then you can actually use um, uh, parachutes and similar technology to break your entry into the, the atmosphere of the body where you want to land and therefore uh, you do not need to bring all the fuel with you to also break at the uh, arrival point. However, uh, if we go back to the diagram and say let's start from, low, from the Earth and go up to low Earth orbit, you can now buy uh, space on board uh, commercial rockets, that's what we are going to do, to bring us to low Earth orbit. A low Earth orbit is typically something with a 400 kilometers altitude, uh, as much circular as uh, it comes out of the rocket provider uh, there. There are a significant number of departures going to the GTO, which is Geotransfer Orbit, uh, because that is where the large communication satellites go, and that means that's where the Ariane rockets and others go up. And from there, then, uh, the, the large communication satellites themselves maneuver out to the geosynchronous orbit, which is the one 32,000 kilometers or around there out uh, from uh, Earth. This diagram is... Uh, diagram which is approximate. It doesn't show all uh, potential orbits and it doesn't show, show what happens if you start off in the wrong direction. One of the problems uh, you have to take care of is that if you get out in low Earth orbit, 
in an inclination relative to uh, the ecliptica, which is different from where you have the moon, you might not hit it even if you get out in the right distance to the moon. Uh, luckily, there are solutions to that, uh, and one of them is to take a detour in direction of the sun or the opposite uh, way and use um, some of the sun's attraction, if you go towards the sun, uh, to change your uh, plane and to change your direction so you come back uh, more or less uh, where uh, the lunar orbit is and then of course you still have to hit it if you want to get there. Uh, we will come back to that uh, later when we think about our trajectory uh, considerations. But for now, we just stop with the, the basic uh, consideration, which is really the place you want to go. Does it have an atmosphere which you can use for braking? Yes or no. And the second one, how much fuel in general terms calculated in delta V, change in velocity, how much fuel do you need to bring with you to get there? and to get down in one piece. If we want to go, in our case, from uh, the uh, low Earth orbit to lunar orbit and down to the Moon, this diagram uh, ca calculates 4.1 plus 1.6 kilometer per second, which is 5.7 uh, kilometers a second. Uh, we believe that there are certain ways of reducing this a little bit, but not a lot, because these are dominated uh, by the mass of the relative bodies and your need to move between them. It's all back to uh, basic uh, mathematics uh, in, in a number of uh, heavy bodies rotating among each other in, the, um, uh, in space. And that's chapter two for today.